Peggy 12. Well, well, well. What do we have here? <laughs> a fresh new monster tamer, huh? Let me share a few tips from a seasoned pro. You're gonna need them to survive in this world. First off, monsters aren't interested in friendship or anything silly like that. They'll offer you their strength in return for the promise you'll raise them to reach their peak. That sacred pact is what monster taming is all about. While you travel this wide open world, you're bound to find packs of useful goods dropped by those who came before you, scared off by some powerful beast, or eaten as a snack. It's anyone's guess. And you're not gonna stand a chance against other tamers unless you know about monster breeding. Purebred doesn't stand a chance against this new species I created. What do you think I should name it? But I suppose I'd be doing you a disservice to not mention monster transformation. Whip out an atomic clock mid-battle to transform your Dracoid, or purify the Laz back into an Apo and then use a Super Grow on it to create a real powerhouse. One last thing before you go, kid. There's trouble brewing. I'm not getting myself involved. Gotta take care of number one after all. But if you've got a habit of playing savior, I think you've got your work cut out for you. That is, if you're not out to become a dark messiah yourself.